hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how to make excel file as a database and run sql queries on it but before that if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started in power automate desktop you can make excel file as a database and run sql queries on it to do that first of all you have to install microsoft access database engine redistributable you can go to the microsoft site and find the file which you need to download and install here you can see that you can download this file which is access database engine 2010 redistributable you can click on it file will be downloaded and you can just install it okay and once this is done you have to go to the power automate desktop and then here you what you can do is you can choose a set variable and you can name the variable as connection string and here you have to provide the connection string I'll go back to the Microsoft site and here I can find the connection string I'll just copy it go back to the power automate desktop and paste it right so because i have already installed microsoft access database engine so for me it will work but if you have not installed it then it will not work for you so you have to make sure that you have downloaded this microsoft access database engine 2010 redistributable and you have installed it on your machine in this connection string you can see there is a variable which is named as excel file path okay you can just copy it so that you can declare a variable which will be named as excel file path and you can click on save go to set variable and name the variable name as excel file path and here you have to specify the full file path right so i have a file which is placed on the desktop i'll take the full path of it and paste it in the value field i have specified the file path i have entered the file path now I'll, i will click on save right and then i will go to the database section and i will take open sql connection and in the connection string i will choose the variable which we have declared as connection string and here the variable will be produced as sql connection 2 but this variable can be anything so you can name as per your requirement you can click on save and then you have to use execute sql connection you have to choose the connection variable for us it is sql connection 2 right and after this you have to pass down sql queries so let's say if i want to get all the values from from the file then what we have to do before that i will open that file where we have some data so this is my excel file in which we have some data right and the sheet name is sheet one right so when we will make excel file as a database 
sheet 1 will become a table and if we have another sheet that also will be considered as another table right so all the sheets will become a table an excel file itself will become a database right now in this case we have a sheet which is sheet 1 so the for us the table name will be sheet 1 correct i will close this file or for now i'll just keep it open and then i will go back to the power automate desktop and what i will do is let's say i want to get all the data from the table one which is sheet one so i will say select star star will give us all the columns from the sheet one and then we have to specify the table name so for us the table name is sheet one and then dollar sign dollar sign will be uh, with this right so if you are going to specify the table name the table the dollar sign will come at the end of the table name and then i will click on save and then i will use the close sql connection i will choose the connection variable i will close the excel file before running this query i will close the sql excel file what i will do is i will put this excel file path before this connection string so that this variable gets initialized and then we can pass it into the connection string variable and for the table name we have to make sure that we are giving the table name inside the square bracket i will wrap it inside the square bracket and then i will click on save and then i will right click on it and say run from here now you can see that the execution has completed successfully we should check query result 2 and here you can see that we have all the data available in this query result to data table right let's say you want to get specific columns from that sheet right so what you have to do is you have to open this execute sql connection execute sql statement and here you have to specify the column names for us column name is first name right and let's say if i want to get the company name i can check these columns in my excel file so what i will do is i will open the excel file and here you can see that the column name is first name and then we have company name right and let's say i want to get the email so these three columns i want from this sheet so so i got the first name and then company name and let's say now i want to get the email the benefit of using the square bracket while specifying the column name is that if you have a space in the column name then it will not give a problem so if you have a column name where you have a space and but you do not wrap it in the square bracket then it will throw an error right so it's better that you wrap your column name in the square bracket so that it does not throw any error and your execution go on properly so for now i will click on save and then i will right click on the excel file path and say run from here and here you can see that the execution has completed successfully i'll go to the query result too 
and here you can see I have got all three columns from the excel sheet right let's say I want to filter the data so what I want to do is I want to know the company name and email where the first name of the user is John so I will click on close I will go back to the execute SQL statement and I will just remove this first name so what I'm trying to say here is select company name and email of those employees from sheet 1 which is the table name where first name is equals to John I will click on save and I will right click on excel file path and I will run the bot here you can see that the execution has completed successfully and now if I go to the query result 2 I can find the company name and email of those users now that I have this in a data table variable I can launch another excel sheet and write this data using the write date write into excel worksheet action right so this is how you can make the excel file as a database establish connection and then you can pass sql queries but there is a restriction you cannot delete a row from the excel sheet using this method and also you cannot add or remove you know column so basically alter queries of sql will not work in this case and also you will not be able to delete any rows but you can always update data if you want to update data of you know specific column you can do that so you can pass update queries you can pass select queries but you will not be able to delete anything you will not be able to alter anything right so that will be a kind of limitation but you can always you know fetch the data from the excel worksheet and you can filter the data if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day